Okay. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Lucky you. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. Looking for Corrine. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. The home's his house's history? Why do you care about it? Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Oh boy. It led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week, well, you shan't believe it, I found human feces in the parlor. Lovely. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Ooh. Second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Yeah, basically. Kill someone with one and then I'll just insert the other. What have we got? Oh, let's just loot his, loot the place while he's not looking. Money, money, money. Oh no, the ghosts seem to have looted all your house. How terrible. She sounds like she's in trouble. I'll be right there. Hang on, I'm, I'm just uh, making sure the ghosts don't run off with things. You seem to be missing the front of your dress. Wake up. That necklace is dancing around her neck. The attic. I've just checked the loot's not, but uh, sorry, the attic's not behind all this loot. Please. Should they? Uh, you'll sleep. You'll sleep better now. Yes.
<laughs> okay. We go. Way to the next room is blocked. Ooh. Loot, loot, loot. I'm looting everything now. And taking a fire. Telekinetic blast. Ooh. Oh. Ragdoll. Okay. Children, examine the drawing. That's the wrong button. Drawing on a crib, off a crib. Okay. Second floor. I wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. Put it stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Here we go. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy, a riddle. Guess I should find an oven. <laughs> okay, let's go down the stairs. Oops, or fall down the stairs in my case. That's right, just loot everything. Examine the oven. Yes, that is an oven. Yes, definitely an oven. Um, makes the cooks things oven. <coughs> Hello. All of a sudden, interdim interdimensional portal opens up. <coughs> oh, look, it's another Johnny. Did I scare you? Girlfriend for Johnny. Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'm not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. I know what you are. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and that's like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. 
<laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Let's make a deal. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. I've got yes. two swords. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'll convince him. <laughs> and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Especially considering the last few people I've, I've dealt with are dead. Of course, they, they, they hang themselves. Yeah. Ooh. Diamond dust. Some gauntlets. And some bits and pieces. Nice. Oh, the bricks. I say, what well, the red things? They're bricks, right. Right, up the ladder. to the dreamer. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Nice chest. I mean, uh, nice chest. I mean, uh, hello. <laughs> Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. <laughs> the work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? Well, there was a bed. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. <laughs> I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. Okay. See you there. Kill the godling. Yes. <laughs> Silver sword. Whoosh, off with the head. Okay. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? The horse is still... Haunted. It can't seem to lift the curse. Let's be good about this. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. But she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. I hope that's a good right thing. We're already dependent on the black buttons economically. 
after the bloody ban hang himself, I'm, I'm quite disheartened about my whole, <laughs> whole playthrough, to be honest. Something sharpened, reforged. Hmm, let me see. What do you have on offer? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. I've actually got a few things I need to go through. Silver sword. Wow, okay. That's pretty powerful. Plus 51. We'll be level 11. With 300, show that. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Can't afford it. I haven't got enough. Okay. So long. Let's check this out then. Okay. Oops, and I've gone completely wrong. Yeah, we've got, okay, so we've got a silver saw that we can use when we get to level 11, okay. Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> That'll be the fajitas I have. Okay, silver, that's the steel sword. And we can pretty much sell everything else. That's five. Plus 13. Blue gloves. Axeman's trousers. And we're pretty much. Okay, so we can sell everything now. You need something sharp. What do you have on offer? Right, so we can sell. Okay. We'll do some repair. Repair all. There we go. Craft. So he's not someone who can craft things. He can do components, crossbow bolts, and weapons. Yeah. Steel sword, Dorian sword, Griffin steel sword. Missing. Steel ingots. Ah, okay. So, you can make that. Oops. Ah. A silver sword for fighting monsters damages up 80. Th wow, level 13 there. Okay, but we need silver ingots. Okay, Dorian sword, the Griffin steel sword, level 15, level 11. Wow, level 27. Whoa, <laughs> okay, uh, trousers plus two plus eight. I could actually make those. That would actually be. But it's the wrong craftsman. Ah! What do you have on offer? So. Hmm.
Okay, we're okay for now, I think. So long. Okay. Song button again. Oh, we got an alchemy. Yeah, I know the pin stuff, don't worry. Missing. I see. Wallow, Thunderbolt. Hmm. Just debating whether I actually talk to this guy or not. Oh, what the hell? What have you got there? Okay, I'll buy all the yellow flowers. So long. Wish I'd pinned it if I was that bothered. Oops. No. Aha, enhanced swallow. There we go. So I've got a notice board. Uh, I need a portrait artist to paint her likeness. Uh, officially endorsed weight and measurements. Newcomers here are informed. Yeah, praise the eternal fire. Three bodies fished out. Okay, be careful. Uh, someone's going around being naughty. Northern banker cheating at Gwent, apparently. Okay. like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Okay. Let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Um... Oh yeah, I'll just... <laughs> Damn you, Facebook. Um... There's a cool effect on the ball. Bring her karma, saved her life as she was there when I died. Hmm... I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. 
I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny? By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? No. Oh. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Bring to a car, Mohan. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing <clears throat> on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Sure, let's do all of them. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Excuse me while I'm texting. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. I have more to say. Then please do. She was there when I died. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. I call her the Lady of Space and Time. Uh, go on then. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yes. Yeah, there's something else. Or the Lady of Space and Time. I call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Considering I'm spilling my guts here. <laughs> yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I, I hate sheds! <laughs> and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone... The emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. 
Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? And the lion? Or Yennefer and Triss? Hmm. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. And <laughs> she starts knitting. <laughs> oh no! I have somehow transported myself into the body of this horrendous man. I think we're wearing a pink outfit. That was interesting. <laughs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? heard about him. Someone left in the Rosemary in time in their will. Okay. <laughs>